people welcome back to my channel this is miss lauren lee 11 and if you're new welcome if you're already subscribed thank you guys hey how you doing my old subscribers thanks for coming back and having a look see okay guys so today i'm going to be revisiting something that has quite good um let's say recommendations I for one wasn't a fan of this in the past but I'm gonna go ahead and try it again just to make sure just to make sure now as you can see guys my hair is rather dry today this is an old wash and go and I believe it's about maybe five days old and the reason why it's looking so frizzy is because I haven't been uh, really taking care of it this week I've literally just been throwing it back my fingers have been in my hair but still thriving as you can see guys I've got a lot of, uh, lot of growth still and I've done a little bit of a trim, a little kind of diva cut myself, as you can see, just to have it a bit more layered. But my hair is still dry, and I'm finding as the weather is getting warmer, deep conditioning alone is not working on my hair. So once my hair has got all the moisture in it, i.e. H2O and creams or butters, I then need to seal it. And at present, Hair grease is not working for me. So it is on the scalp, just not on the hair because you know, I've got leather seats in my car and you know, the grease is just shining up the seats and it's just not, it's not, it's not working, okay? Right, so let's try something different. Today I will be trying, <clears throat> excuse me, I will be trying shea butter again. So I've got the creamy version, 100% African shea butter and it, as I said it's creamy. It says it's unrefined shea butter and it can be used for skin, hair and nails. This was £4.49 for this little tub but obviously I'm assuming a lot goes a long way. But assuming a lot goes a long way because it is quite thick and coating let's say. Right, so let me just read to you what it says in there. It says, 100% natural thick and rich shea butter is enriched with all the essential vitamins needed to hydrate, rejuvenate all types of skin, obviously, and hair. It says, Kusa, obviously the brand, Kusa shea butter is handcrafted to preserve its natural benefits, which may result in color variations. It's fine. And then it says, the natural scent will fade after it's applied. Now, I am so glad they've given me a heads up because I cannot stand the smell. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like the smell of shea butter. The shea butters I've come across, they will smell the same to me. And it's like a bitter, it smells like a bit like rubbery, like a rubbery bitter smell it reminds me of. This one kind of reminds me of like mashed potatoes. I haven't actually come across this creamy version before. Let me just show you the texture. So it says creamy, it just reminds me of like a whipped butter, like you know you'd get like, um, I don't know, hair product. Anyway guys, so I will not be using that by itself as a styler, I'll be using it as a sealant as I said, because as I said the weather's getting warmer, I need to seal that moisture into my hair just to make sure it's not getting fried in the sun. And as my styler, I will be using my favourite, favourite, favourite ORS Curls Unleashed Curl Smoothie and I've done a wash and go with this quite a few times. I love the way my curls turned out. I did actually use it as a leave-in underneath these curls. I was using Eco Styler on top and I used this as a leave-in and it smoothed, defined everything you can think of with my curls. But the only thing is, as I said, my curls have become dry because when I put Eco Styler on it, I don't find it hydrating. So it needs to be sealed. And the best way to do that, use H2O, a cream, and then the shea butter. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I hope I've given you enough information. But before I go and I stop speaking and play all that nice music for you guys, <laughs> please be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Miss Lauren Lee 11. And also don't forget to like and subscribe this video now. Click the bell so you don't have to miss another video and you're always going to be notified when my video is uploaded. Okay guys, so let me go ahead, show you the wash and go and let's just get to it. Okay, so this is what I'm working with at the minute. My hair is all washed and conditioned. Now guys, all I'm gonna do, literally I'm not gonna talk now, I promise. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply the styler which I showed you earlier on. Details for both of these products will be in the description box down below with a link where you can click and you can buy them there. Okay, if it's not exactly the same product, this one will be, but with the shea butter, I don't know if, you can get this online. I did get this from my local hair store, but if not, I will do an alternative with the link down below. Okay, so I'm gonna go and apply the smoothie into my hair and then I will then smooth out the smoothie with the shea butter. Okay, so just carry on watching, guys.
Don't go. Hey guys, so that's one side done. I'm quite impressed with how it's turned out, but let me just quickly give you a quick review on the shea butter. Now, it mixes nicely with the product, as you can see, there's no balling, but the product itself, if you could see, I was having a bit of a struggle trying to compress it, if that makes sense, and spread it. It just kind of just stays in one place, so you do have to kind of maybe warm it up beforehand. Kind of, yeah. So I was just trying to warm it up in my hands so it's more easy to spread if that makes sense. Okay, so it spreads nicely in my hair. My hair doesn't feel greasy, it feels coated. And the plus side, I've got a good little edge control here. Okay, for these little wispy bits. Um, I'm impressed so far, let's say. It's doing a better job than the last one that I used. Keeping in mind the last one I used was a solid block. It wasn't a creamy one, so maybe that's why I just couldn't be bothered and I gave up. <laughs> but uh, as I usually do, if you know me already, I'm going to go and complete the other side of camera, show you my hair once it's completely dried and then I'll come back to you, no, show you my hair when it's completely styled and then I'll come back to you tomorrow when my hair is completely dry, guys, or maybe later, whenever. <sighs> okay then, so <laughs> stay tuned for the results, guys. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so this is my hair completely styled. Laid down my edges with it. Very nice, very nice. As you can see, ah, oh, my hair feels like it's starting to dry already, but not dry as in the sense that it's drying out, just dry as it does, you know, because it's meant to dry, right? <laughs> so let me just quickly show you the back. guys so as i said i'm going to go and let this air dry i don't know how long it's going to take i really don't know because it's i don't know it kind of reminds me of the shea butter i'm talking about sorry the shea butter kind of reminds me of dax um let's see i forgot this one it's like dax wax but i can't remember the full name of it and it was like a red tin red or blue tin no it's a red tin and it's really like sticky and stiff and that used to be good for sealing in my hair, but then it was too much for my hair. I couldn't pull it on my curls like this, which I did attempt to sometimes and rip out my curls. But I feel this has got a little bit of slip, a little bit of grease, so that's cool. But I'm gonna go let it dry as I said, come back to you. And uh, yeah, well I will say guys, I, don't, I really don't like the way it smells. And it did say on the tub that the scent will fade and I'm really hoping it does. Anyway, so I will come back to you when my hair's dry and let me know what you think. All right, guys, so I'll see you in a bit. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, curl friends. This is the next day. I don't know where I put that shea butter, but these are the results. I know I put it in my hair, I just don't know where I put the tub. But yes, as you can see, these are the results. My hair is shiny, okay. The smell did actually go, yeah, it did. All I can smell is the um, 
the leaving from ORS that I put in, but the smell did actually go from the butter. All I can describe it as was like burnt rubber, like tire type of smells, and it wasn't that friendly. It, it just wasn't that friendly on the nose. So I'm glad it's gone, but the effects of the shea butter have not. So as you can see, my hair is a bit frizzy here, guys, because I did stretch it out just a little, not too much. Uh, with the hair dryer, I know so I'm not doing heat, but I had to guys I had to get this this look going on here this voluminous long length, you know Anyway, so have it. if you can see I have got some parts still in there and The good thing about this is you can rub it on your skin as well. So, you know, if I see any parts when I'm out I'll just moisturize my hands <laughs> Right, let me just go ahead and show you the back as I said guys, my hair is quite fine anyway, so I have a lot of hair, but I have fine strands. So my head back may look a bit flat, but it's cool, we're going to work with it, okay? So let me just show you the back. I try to pick it as much as possible, so if it is flat, I'm sorry. I did try and cut some layers into the back of my hair, but I, I don't want to cut off too much length, so I just, you know, I'm just going to have to deal with the flatness. But yeah, my hair's got movement, it doesn't feel greasy, It's it feels coated, but not greasy, so little waxy so if you're not into that and you like your hair to feel more dry maybe then this may not be for you but I do feel like my hair is moisturized and to be honest as I said I love my hair grease so this is a great alternative to having a hair grease type of feel without the mineral oil and petroleum oil and what have you okay Yes, so guys, I want to get a poll going. Well, not really a poll, I want to get a discussion going, guys. I always love your comments, but I want to know who has tried this shea butter. Have you tried it as a wash and go? Have you tried it on, uh, I don't know, it's a really good slick back. So for the ponytails, have you used it as a slick back, you know? Uh, have you used it on your skin? Have you used it in your children's hair? What type of texture hair do you have? I've got all these questions going for you guys. Please answer them down below and we can get this conversation going. I don't just mean between you guys. I will be in the conversation as well because I'm nosy like that. So <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Miss Lauren Lee 11 Oh, and by the way, guys, if you do remember, I, or if you don't remember, I have a website that I'm now relaunching. It's called Parents at Home. It's for stay at home parents. And it's a blogging website where you can talk about your aches and pains of being a parent, the funny stories, or just for some advice, some advice that I can give as a stay at home parent. And it's not just for mums, it's for dads, it's for guardians, for aunties, anyone that has to deal with children. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you do want to follow me over there, you can follow me on Instagram at parentsathome11. There is a reason why I use Lauren Lee 11 and Parents at Home 11 and I will later divulge that. But for now, if you want to head over to Instagram, follow me at parentsathome11 and the relaunch of the website will be very, very soon guys. So check that out if you like. And yes, I will see you on Monday, guys. All right, have a great weekend. Bye.